Taurus. This is your law of attraction general reading for the month of August, 2016. You can also check out your moon or your rising sign for more insight. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Taurus, this first card is going to represent your current desires in the month of August. Second card is going to represent your values and what you're identifying with. Third card is going to represent distractions, illusions, or doubts. The fourth card is going to represent the path to fulfillment. And the fifth card is going to represent the right attitude to have. And the last card is going to represent the outcome. Okay, Taurus, your current desire for the month of August, we actually have the Hermit card. I really like the Hermit card. Um, the Hermit card, this is all about concentration. So I feel that a lot of you Tauruses are really concentrating. You are determined bulls right now. You are really, you know, you're stepping up your game. You're, you're focusing your, your energies. You're concentrating even harder than ever on your goals and dreams. Like you mean business Taurus and you are serious. <laughs> um, I also feel that some of you in the month of August, once again, you might be spending time alone. Uh, or you have the desire to spend time alone and there's a need for this so that you can really recharge your batteries and re-harness that energy to stay concentrated. Like you are so focused on these goals, they are going to happen and you know what that takes Taurus and there's a need to go within and to focus all of your energy on what you're really seeking to attain. I feel that there's a major shift happening with a lot of you and that's why this is happening because you are accomplishing, you are growing, you are getting closer to your goals and dreams. And sometimes, you know, we reach a certain point and then the universe requires us to kind of even go higher or go deeper or go, or go harder. And you have to go within to harness that strength and focus all your powers and abilities so that you just stay focused, stay on track with no distractions at all. So the desire is for the month of August to take that time, Taurus, that you need to not feel guilty about that. Allow yourself to have that time and, and not to judge it, to know that you are really powerfully aligning yourself with God, the universe, your intentions to, to match the vibration of your dreams. And that is going to draw to you what you're seeking. It's about kind of withdrawing and some of you might be kind of more introspective. You're trying to listen to your inner voice, your inner power. And a lot of times in order to do that, you need solitude. You need quiet. It's also about inner work. So if you are, some of you are going to be getting messages uh, in the month of August about, uh, you know, kind of spring cleaning, even though we're not in spring, uh, but cleaning out doing clearing out clutter whether that's internal or external and and kind of reviving yourself through meditation affirmations relaxation and by quieting your mind this is going to help you to hear what you need to hear so that you can move forward so really beautiful energy taurus you're definitely focused this month could kind of point to why you feel like you need to withdraw we have what you're kind of uh, identifying with we have the ten of swords the Ten of Swords is kind of about something not working out the way that you had hoped. Um, it's about kind of being disappointed with a situation. And some of you, if you have experienced conflict with someone, this could be in the workplace or it could be relationship. This is mainly just in regards to what you're seeking to attract. You're really seeking to counteract this conflict that has happened for you. And I feel like that's why you're so determined to go within. You are, you are so determined and persistent that none of you are going to let this situation get you down. However, it is here and there has been a feeling of a loss of some sort because of a difficult situation. I do have to point out it's a sword. A sword is Gemini. Aquarius or Libra. So I do feel that some of you are dealing with an air sign in regards to this feeling of loss or a difficult situation. What I love about you Taurus though, is that 
you know, you will not take no for an answer. And so you are determined to turn this around. So in the 10 of swords, even if something did not turn out the way you hoped or had desired, you are determined to, to make it work and to make, to find a way. And I feel that some of you are coming to an acceptance that something with this type of air sign person is not meant to be. Um, and you're accepting that. But I do feel that some of you kind of feel exhausted from having to deal with this situation. And that's another reason for wanting to take time to withdraw and refocus your energies. So even though this has been painful for you, Taurus, I do feel that a lot of you are becoming released from the situation. Like you're accepting that whatever the situation has that has disappointed you, you know that you can make a fresh start. And now it's time to pull back your energies, refocus, quiet your mind, and so that you know where to move forward. Okay, so very interesting. Another sword for the distraction, the obstacle, or the illusion. We have the queen of swords here. Okay, so once again, it could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is a strong feminine energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be a female, but we got two females here. And as you can see, they're pulling and tugging the rope against one another. This is all about a rival, Taurus. So some of you might be feeling like you're fighting for something. You're fighting for someone's attention, affection, um, and yeah, it's a full on battle. And this could be a battle of words because, or intellect because it is a sword and this is about intelligence, but it's also about vindictiveness. It's also about cunning and this person that you're dealing with or, you know, feeling threatened by, I feel like they can be sharp with their tongue. Um, the message here is just to be careful and to be cautious about sharing information in the month of August, because any dreams or goals that you're working on, maybe not everyone is going to understand it. Maybe not everyone's going to agree with it because this person, whoever you're dealing with kind of is very opinionated and is very quick with their tongue. And, you know, it just may not land on the most supportive person's ears. So this person that you might be dealing with is very perceptive. I feel they're very intelligent and they, they speak their mind. They're not afraid to speak up. This person could also be critical or intolerant. And if they really wanted to, they could shred the person, you know, they could bring a person shred them with their words. So not to argue that that's not the way to go with this person. If you are having a conflict with an air type energy, um, arguing is not going to work with them. And, you know, this, this, maybe this just seems like the obstacle you're feeling threatened by someone. Um, and so that's kind of the challenge to not get sucked into that drama or sucked into that negativity in the month of August. So as far as the right actions to take, you have the beautiful card, and this is going to lead to your fulfillment, the five of cups. So this is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but it also just relates to the emotional side of you and your heart and your feelings. This is all about you feeling happy, Taurus, and nothing like a bright yellow sunflower to make you smile. And I feel like that is what is going to attract your goals and dreams. I mean, obviously you have to do the work. It's not gonna just appear, but when you think positive and you focus on your dreams and goals and you feel those positive emotions of joy, hope, and optimism, that is going to speed up the process. Uh, the universe is going to feel those frequencies and uh, bring to you and attract to you what you're seeking and desiring. So, you know, I do feel that for some of you, there's a temptation on this air sign is really strong for some of you that whatever's happening, this conflict or just this disappointment with this person is really, you're, you're fighting it. You're fighting not to be brought down by it. Okay. And the universe is telling you don't, don't be brought down by it. Okay. Because if something wasn't meant to happen, it wasn't meant to happen. There was a reason for that. Um, you know, the thing about the five of cups, I want to let you know, is it can also be about a reconciliation. So someone from the past or someone that maybe if you have not been on good terms with, this is a positive sign of reconciling with that person. And the way to do that is to be emotionally happy within yourself and to do those things that make you feel happy, make you feel joyful and positive. And that's going to expedite or speed up that process of reconciliation. I also feel the universe is saying to you, Taurus, yes, you're on the right path. This is a yes card. 
So whatever goals and dreams that you have been focusing on, maybe you haven't achieved them yet. Maybe you're in process. The universe is saying, yes, you're on the right track, Taurus. You're, you're thinking about long-term happiness, the goals and dreams that are gonna make you happy. Focus on that. Don't focus on the drama. Don't focus on the negativity. Don't focus on if someone said something or did something. Um, don't focus on what hasn't worked. Focus on what is working and what you are doing well because that's where that's the sweet spot. That's the place you wanna be where things are just going to continue to improve for you. Okay, I love it. I love it, um, Taurus. So the attitude to have with yourself and others, we have the world. And what I feel like this is saying is do not doubt yourself for a minute, which I don't feel that you do, but the universe is just reminding you to think big, dream big. And this is also with how you're dealing with other people. For some of you, I feel like maybe some people are trying to, maybe some people are threatened by you, Taurus, because you, you are hardworking and you do achieve a lot and you have accomplished a lot. And some people might be threatened by that. And so, you know, maybe the temptation is kind of back down or like, try to be like overly humble around that person. But I feel like it's just the opposite. I feel like you should think big, dream big, and be proud of that. You know, know that you're ambitious, know that you have big dreams and goals and be and own it and feel good about that. Because this is a knowingness. This is a knowing that as you do each step of the puzzle, your dreams and goals will come true. And I mean, it's a beautiful card. We're talking about spiritually, emotionally, physically, and this is like a knowing. So you don't have to act like you're not confident in yourself, Taurus. This is about saying, you know what? I know I'm on my right path. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm able to do this, having no shame about that. And this is also about learning lessons and, and overcoming obstacles. And so I feel that you have a lot to teach and to share Taurus, that you are very smart. You've been through a lot of things and people could really learn and glean from your wisdom and knowledge. And so I feel like with other people, don't hold back, be who you are and be strong and bold and confident in that. And that it, it's going to help them as much as it's going to help you. This is about, you know, being assured of your victory. So if there's been someone that's just, I, I feel like for some of you, someone's negative here. Someone is just not making you feel safe maybe and secure. And, you know, maybe they're just being negative and they're not really believing in you. Don't allow that, you know, just hold your head up high. You don't have to give in to their tactics. You don't have to argue. You don't have to, you know, like beat them with words or anything like that. This is just the energy for you to be strong and proud and true to yourself and have no regrets. Okay, so let's just kind of recap Taurus here before we get to the outcome. So for the month of August, we have the Hermit. The Hermit is about taking time to withdraw, taking time to concentrate your energy so that you can continue to pursue, pursue your goals and dreams. As far as what you're identifying with, we have the 10 of swords. Some of you have been really disappointed by something. Something or someone is not living up to your expectations. And I feel that this has been difficult for you, but I do feel that you are really trying to fight the, the sadness about it and realizing, you know what, I have to move forward. I can, you know, if it's not meant to be, it wasn't meant to be, you're accepting that and you're, you're seeking to move forward. Um, we also have the queen of swords as far as the obstacle or the distraction, which is a rivalry. This could be you and a rival at work or in a relationship. It, and, and maybe this is true, maybe this is not. Maybe it's just an illusion, but the, the challenge is going to be to not let this consume you, to not try to fight on their intellectual level because I do feel like this person, you know, is capable of tearing anyone to shreds. And it's also about just being cautious who you share your innermost ideas and dreams with, okay? Um, as far as the road to fulfillment, it's all about your happiness. We have the five of cups. So finding those things that bring you joy, finding those things that make you happy. It's also about believing and having positive expectations that you know that if you focus on them and you work hard and you believe you can succeed and you will be successful. And that's the same attitude you're meant to have with others is to know that you know, you are smart. You have a great head on your shoulders. You're a hard worker. You have achieved a lot of goals and you can teach other people and to not be, to not let anyone talk down at you or not, you know, just to let yourself sparkle, let no one at all, you know, just keep you down because you have so much to be proud of Taurus. Now, as far as if you do all the, these things, we have the four of swords. And what this tells me is this is more solitude. This is more taking time within yourself to, 
to seek, to learn. This is, whatever this person is or the situation, I do feel like it has affected some of you and I feel like you're going to need to take a lot of time to heal and to withdraw. And you're kind of at this point where you, in order to move forward, you have to detach yourself emotionally and mentally from this person or the situation. And you might need to take rest or recovery, but it's going to be about recharging your batteries. Um, so I do feel in the month of August, you're going to, it's all about you coming back to yourself, Taurus, and loving yourself and knowing all the things that you have done and moving forward and healing from this situation or this person that has not worked out and to continue to move forward. So anyway, very beautiful reading. I hope this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. As always, Taurus, I really appreciate you watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day.